Though I love Halo, I love the content with Forge that people make remaking some of the classic maps like we've played Damnation, we've played Remake of Narrows and various other maps, but there also are classic maps from other games being remade in Forge right now. And this one we're going to focus on Call of Duty maps, which can be kind of odd, obviously, because Call of Duty isn't Halo, two very different styles of map design and gameplay. But some of these maps, I think, are just kind of a fun nostalgia trip that if you guys want to check it out. Plus, there's a Zombies remake in here, which is fantastic. So if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to see some other Forge content, let me know in the comments down below. But let's get right into those details. Let's start off with one of the all-time classic 1v1 me bro maps, and that is Rust from Modern Warfare 2 remade in Halo Infinite's Forge. And this is an amazing recreation of Rust. Basically, as you would expect from the classic modern for two days, but this time in Halo Infinite and scaled properly, which is really important. There's a shock rifle that spawns on the map, so you get some cool snipe shots, as well as some really cheeky fusion coil plays, which are always a blast. So if you're looking for some fun, hectic gameplay, well, Rust in Halo Infinite might be your choice. Next in our top 10 list, we have High Rise, one of the all-time classic Modern for 2 maps again. And I love the attention to detail on this one, where if you guys remember, there was a really cheeky snipe spot in the very beginning of the map, High Rise, that they actually placed the sniper rifles right there, where you would expect to do the sniping, which is just classic gameplay experience from that map. You can jump on the crane, you can jump down below where like the suspended platforms are. If you wanted to try to do some boosting like you did back at the classic Mono for two days, you can climb on top of the buildings and stuff. It's a ton of fun. This remake was so well done and absolutely worth the download and play. Plus there's a ghost on it if you guys want to go for some lols. This next map, we're leaving the Modern Warfare franchise and going to the Black Ops franchise where it all started with Firing Range. And the Forge that put this together really nailed the visuals exactly as you expect Firing Range to look and play like. You have a sniper rifle that spawns at the top perch area where you constantly would see snipers hanging out in there back in the Black Ops 1 days. But you can tell that the Forger really took in the details of what made firing range really, well, firing range. I will say that the scaling felt a little small for Halo Infinite's gameplay. This is probably more of a one-to-one -one recreation, which is kind of different, but I still think it plays out rather well. I mean, again, if you're playing custom games and you want to play some Call of Duty maps, well, this would definitely be one you'd have to download and play. Now we're going back to the modern Modern Warfare series with 2019s and the 2v2 map stack, which is amazingly recreated in here. Though the way that we played it, we played regular Team Fiesta and the spawns are very set on this map. So it's definitely designed to be like a gunfight type of recreation in Halo Infinite, which definitely played out super well. Though while playing this on stream, I didn't really get a chance because I didn't want to kick out everyone in the lobby to just do a 2v2 elimination thing. But this is definitely what it's designed for and definitely give it a go if you want to try it out. Now we're hopping back over to the Black Ops 1 maps. And this map is a classic that you know had to be remade in Halo Infinite. And that is Nuketown, which is an all time classic Call of Duty map. I mean, the visuals of this one are completely nailed down almost perfectly. This was properly scaled for Halo Infinite's gameplay as well. So I like that, how that was taken into consideration. And also, you even have an elite who's cooking some hot dogs on the grill. So, I mean, come on, how is that not amazing? The crazy hectic gameplay that Nuketown is known for is definitely on display with this Forge recreation as well. So if you're looking for a Nuketown recreation, this is the map for you. This next one on the list is probably my favorite one on here, and that is a recreation of Knock Dare on Toten in World of War for Halo Infinite. And also I could do an entire video on this one alone because it's just so fantastic. They absolutely nailed recreating zombies from Call of Duty in Halo Infinite. You even have a buy stations where you can pick up different things off the wall. You have a mystery box as well. This is also paired with a game mode. So make sure you keep that in mind when you download this map, you need to get the game mode specific for it because it's the four of you on the Eagle team. And then you have to play against the AI bots that are slowly making their way through the whole thing with energy swords. And at first they're pretty easy to kill, just like your typical zombies are within World at War, but it definitely increases and ramps up very quickly. You can even pick up perks as well. This is just an incredible recreation of Call of Duty Zombies within Halo Infinite. And this is definitely, if there's anything to download guys, this would be the one. Honestly, I might make a video just on it, this one alone. Hopping back over to the Modern Warfare series, guys. We're going with Modern Warfare 2019 version of Shipment. It seems like people really enjoy these crazy, small, hectic, chaotic maps. And well, Shipment from 2019 is a very well done map here for Halo Infinite. You're even able to jump on top of the crates all over the place because, you know, it's Halo Infinite's clamper ability and stuff like that. So you can't exactly play true to Shipment with that extra verticality, but it, I think kind of adds a little 
level of fun and verticality in with the gameplay that kind of makes it just feel like more Halo. There's even a gun goose on the map too if you guys feel like trolling. And I appreciate the level of detail that the Forger took outside of the map as well to really make it feel like you're at a dock full of container crates. Sticking with the Modern Warfare series, but we're going all the way back to 2007 with the map Kill House being recreated in Halo Infinite. It might not be the flashiest looking map, but neither was Kill House either, but this definitely does a great job of recreating that experience that we all know and love from Kill House from Call of Duty 4. It also features a sniper in the top center of the map as well, so you can get the nice battles going on there. Next, we're going into one of the all-time greatest Call of Duty maps ever made for the multiplayer, and that is the Black Ops 2 map, Raid. Again, might not be looking the prettiest of all the maps we've showcased so far, but this is definitely one of the best forged maps that we had a chance to check out. Because if you're looking for Call of Duty maps, you gotta find Raid, and well, this is the best version on there. I'm hoping that the person who made this map really takes the extra time to really polish up things when it comes to the visuals because it plays out so well. It's an incredible map, very well done. I just really hope the visuals get a little bit better, but honestly, like the gameplay is there. Now hopping back over to Modern Warfare 2019 seems to be a recurring theme here that we have a recreation of the map Shoot House, which if you guys have been camo grinders or just weapon attachment grinders for Warzone, a lot of times for 2019, you hopped over into Shoot House because, well, it was a small map, a lot of high action, and well, this map definitely experiences that as well within Halo Infinite. This map works for Slayer and Capture Flag, which we played on this variation. And while some parts felt a little awkward, I would say, when it comes to the forging, some of the scaling might not have been quite right, but for the most part, it's on point. This map quickly became an all-time favorite classic map from 2019, and I'm sure you guys would enjoy playing it in Halo Infinite as well. Now, if you want to keep watching, check out this video where I talk about the RPK meta loadout in Warzone right now. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.